Hi folks, this question was posted on a bulletin board on uh, October 15th by Jeff. It's called the Snake Pit. I know I have asked this question before, but I will try again. We have an 8 color CI press and the gear side of the press looks like a snake pit with all the hoses, pumps, buckets and all needed to print an 8 color job. What do other people do to avoid this? Pictures would help. We have tried for years to clean this up but have not come up with any good solutions. Any help would be appreciated. So first let me apologize to Jeff. I remember this question on our old bulletin board. And uh, I think at the time, you know, I thought about answering it and then I did, decided not to answer it probably because to really describe it, I didn't have access to a press to take a picture of and um, to describe it would have been very, very cumbersome. So I apologize for that. But now we have an opportunity here to tie a concept together. What I've got is, I've got some bullets that I'm going to put on the bulletin board, okay? So these exact bullets that I'm going to go over will be posted on the bulletin board. And then embedded with this post, if everything works out okay, uh, we should be able to embed this video so that you can also watch the description as I go through these bullets, okay? So let's give this a try and see how it works. All right. So the first thing you got to do is you have to commit to a specific spot for each pump, okay? This is consistent with... Uh, uh, lean practices and 5S or 7S and other concepts you'll hear about uh, are just efficiency and it's just an efficient way of, of working. Dedic decide that you're going to dedicate a spot for every pump and you have to make sure that everybody is on board with it and that everybody agrees to it otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. All right. So uh, the next step is keep pumps in the same place even when using less than all pumps. Consistent with that concept of uh, dedicating a spot to each one of the pumps is, let's say you're running an eight color job, and then for some reason you're going to a one color job, like a black job or something like that, you're just going to knock out this job. Well, you might be tempted to use a different hose length or something like that, or a different pump even, and put it in a different place than normally the, that one station you're now running in, the normal location for that pump when they're all eight are there. Even if it's one or eight colors, if that's the normal spot for that pump to be, make sure it stays there. Okay, designate hoses to each print station. Okay, um, when we're done talking about um, some of my ideas about how to lay out the hoses and stuff, you're going to end up with different length hoses. Okay, so you're going to want to match those up. Now, you might have similar lengths on either side of the machine, you know, um, how the lower two and the middle two and all of that are the, are the same lengths, well that's fine, you can incorporate that concept too and end, end up with uh, some spares. But, for, um, uh, so you know, uh, designate hoses to each print station, okay? Have at least two for each print station. All eight are running, you want at least another set of eight uh, that you can have being washed up or something like that in case you have to change all colors to another eight color job or whatever. I just like to have a complete set of spare hoses in good condition, identical.